The Sword in the Stone, a King Arthur Tale, Part 6. But his brother was gone. Soon after, he heard his brother's voice outside the tent. Father, I have something to show you. Kay and his father stepped inside the tent. Look, said Kay. He pointed to the sword. Sir Hector stared. His face turned white. Kay, said the father, facing his older son. Where did you get this sword? It is mine, said Kay, holding it close to him. I have it now. Kay, said the father again in a stern voice. I will ask you one more time. Where did you get this sword? The young knight's head dropped down. From Arthur, he said, he lost my sword. Somehow he got this one. Arthur, the father turned to his younger son. How is it that you came by this sword? I am sorry, said Arthur. Father, I will put it back right away. I only meant to borrow it when I pulled it from the stone. You must take us to where you found this sword at once. The three of them rushed over to the market square. Arthur climbed up onto the marble block. It came from here. He lifted the sword over his head. Then he dropped the blade back into the stone. Now it's back. Hey, said Sir Kay. I still need a sword. He jumped onto the marble block, grabbing the hilt of the sword. He pulled and pulled, but it did not move. Kay shouted to Arthur. What did you do to it? Nothing, said the lad. You must have done something, yelled Sir Kay. Hush, both of you, said the father. It is better if no one sees or hears us. But it was too late. A crowd had already started to form. Hey, did you pull that sword out of the stone? Called one. Yes, said Arthur. I did, 